once was a grand kingdom. It was so grand with tall trees and the forest and the beautiful, beautiful streams that cascaded over the rocks. And the nature spirits were so alive alive. There was an awareness that light was present everywhere, everywhere. And the fairies were there too. There was an understanding that all of life was so precious and magical. There was such magic in the air. And we reveled there. We reveled there in the forest, among the rocks and the trees and the frogs, and the lions. You know, even though the lion was the king, the lamb was also the king in its own right. Because there was no separation, there was only joyousness and love of all creatures. And then, and then, we got this knowing that there was a different force afoot. There was a different feeling and a different knowing there was, for the first time, the feeling that one needed to hide. Hide. Why? We did not know and we did not understand. But we began to build forts and walls around the forest. We said to ourselves that if we could protect ourselves, then all would be right and preserved there would still be a king in the lion and in the lamb. But then there was a different kind of king that arrived. This was a noble king. This was a two-legged king. And this king said, there must be order. There must be order here. And I am the great one, and you, you are the lesser ones. You're here to serve me. You're here to serve that which I am and that which I see. And yet, the forest continued, you know. It was the time at the night when man was asleep, that which was saying that I am the king of you, the controller of you. As man went to sleep, the forest came alive. And you know, that's where the fireflies were birthed into creation. And the fairies came out. And there was dancing and freedom and reveling and remembering remember 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 <laughs> we can dance and we can sing yes we can we can be free you know and the darkness is not to be feared at all you see <laughs> That's where the moths were born into form, too, you see. They created much color, and they learned how to glow. They learned how to smile in a different way. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And so there was a game of pretending going on. As the two-legged built their fortresses, and battled among each other. Who is the king now? 
Where shall this be, and how shall that be? And who is mine, and who is thine? And how shall that be? And they began to cut swaths, great swaths in the forest. Yes, they did. And cleared the way. They cleared the way. And yet, when night would fall again, here would come the fairies. And the night frogs would jump and chirp. And the crickets, the angelic beings in the form of crickets, would begin to sing and let the natural world, the spirits there, say, it's time to come out again. It's time to come out. And let us play and let us revel. And then there was this feeling, you know, there was this feeling that maybe mankind needed a little bit of help. Maybe it was that way. Maybe as the nature spirit said, we can help. And the only ones that are listening are the children. Maybe what we can do is we can go and whisper into the children's ears. Maybe that's what we can do, yes. We can say, but you are free, you know. And there is another way, you know. And we're here, you know. Yes, and do you remember? Remember, there is another way where everyone is free. <laughs> everyone, everyone, everyone is free. And when you help the children, the very sad, you are helping humanity because humanity has forgotten. But the children will remember. They'll remember in this feeling and this knowing that we are truly all one.